guys, how's it going? Welcome back. As you know, the gun addiction has hit really hard. Oh my gosh. Oh, the money I'm spending. And there's more to come. Anyways, so, to save a little bit of time opening the box, we've got a new gun. This one is the Remington 1875. Now, this thing shoots BBs or pellets. Um, I didn't find out a boatload of information on it as far as if it's a rifle barrel, but we're going to check, and if it is, we definitely will not be shooting BBs through this gun at all. Because that'll just wreck the rifling. Anyways, so, it looks like we got six rounds already in the gun, six shells on the side. Let's get this puppy open somehow, but let's first read the back of the box. Revolver, 12 gram CO2, single of course, BB or pellet, capacity 6 cartridges, oh barrel is a smooth bore so I guess we can shoot some BBs through it for fun. Uh, 2.3 pounds, 13.125 inches in length, front side is blade, safety, slide, velocity up to 450 feet per second. Doesn't mean we're going to get it but it has the potential there. And of course we have a warranty. Best accuracy and performance are achieved at 33 feet or under. This air gun has been inspected and test fired at the factory. We stand behind this product with a limited one year warranty against defects, materials and workmanship. See warranty provisions inside. So in other words, yep, be careful cutting the box open. So, well, let's see what we can do about getting this open without causing too much damage here to the boxing. So anyway, um, years back, I had a Crossman Shiloh, which is said to be a replica, basically, of this actual gun, which is the Remington 1875. So, you can't get Shilohs anymore, and the Shilohs were nice. They had a, uh, they shot BB or pellet, and you loaded them from the front of the uh, loader. But, um, anyways, um, very nice gun. It was, you know, made out of metal, that sort of jazz. A um, little bit of plastic on it, like grips, you know, and the cylinder was plastic. Um, and you had to once in a while replace the cylinder because you'd wear it out. So these are probably our BB shells. Hard to say. Apparently you can load BBs or pellets in the BB shells. So basically you've got 12. Anyhow, so this is our gun. But um, anyways, as far as the Shiloh goes though, uh, I really liked that gun. And uh, I've had a couple of them over the decades and uh, they're a lot of fun they were not very accurate though that's for darn sure um, but nonetheless definitely a lot of fun and uh, so I was kind of glad to see a replica come out in this case of the Remington 1875 uh, being an all-metal gun and definitely more accurate from the videos I've been watching um, so it does have that going for it as well <clears throat> and of course the size is bigger than the Shiloh it's uh, same deal it's like a um, single action deal same as the Shiloh was now let's uh, there we go so we can safety detock this so they have the safety on from the factory I have to read the uh, book to find out what this push button is about probably part of the ejector Okay, so anyway, um, today we're just doing an unboxing. Um, not going to bother with uh, croning this thing today uh, or shooting it. It's really windy outside today anyway, so shooting it would be kind of pointless. Um, but uh, I wanted to at least get the unboxing taken care of and give you guys my first impression thoughts on it. And I also have another surprise that's not in your view going to go through in a minute. Did I get this right? Probably not. Ah, darn it. Cut it a little closer. 
So I wanted extra shells because you got to have lots. So it's kind of boring just shooting off, you know, six or twelve shots and then you got to sit there and reload them. So why not have more? The more the merrier. So the surprise. I went out and got a holster. This is a leather holster. They say it's like hand etched or whatever you call it. Anyways, Western style holster. Cross your fingers. I know I am, because if not, I'm going to be buying another gun anyways. Oh, ho! Oh. Sticks out just a little bit. Nice. Fits. I'm still buying another gun. My wife's looking at me with a big grin on her face like she already knew that was happening anyway. But yeah. Wow. That, that fit in there pretty good. They did say in the ad that if you had a slightly longer barrel, then there is room for it to go down. So that's good. That fits. Now, as far as the belt goes, now the holster cost me 50 bucks on Amazon, um, and the belt cost me $14 at uh, Ecotrex Army Surplus. And this is going to hold all my extra shells, of course, already having them loaded. And uh, we actually checked this against a uh, Dan Wesson gun uh, that they had there to make sure that these this was the right size of uh, bullet slots. So that is going to be sick. And it fits in there nice. It's not a tight fit. It's just loose the way it should be. Um, now, does the hammer thing come up? No, it doesn't. Hmm. Can we adjust that? I don't know. Um, actually, yes, we can adjust that. Yep, we can adjust the length. It's going to be a little snug, but I have to take this apart to do it. Because there's uh, these things that are dangling down, that'll adjust the height of this so I can actually fit it to this hammer. So that's cool! Awesome! Alright, so from what I hear, you cock it halfway, then you can open up the loading port. Now what I'm curious about, closed. Oh, you can still open the loading port. I thought it would have been keyed so that you can't. So... Dump them out this way, or you could actually uh, line this up and use the ejector rod so you can be all fancy about it. So the other gun I'm after uh, for replica is the single action army. Now that gun is basically a duplicate, uh, but more of a realistic replica, of course, to the Daisy Model 179, which was the very first BB gun I bought myself when I was a kid. And I've had about three or four of them since, because I ended up having two of them when I was a kid. So, um, And I've had a couple since then. So that's kind of cool. So I want to get the single action army. That's all right. So I'll load these back in. That's pretty awesome. Us left-handed guys have it easy, you know. I almost feel sorry for the righties out there. So, that is cool. Trigger pull is not that heavy. It's not bad. It even has like a firing pin on here too, which is kind of neat. Awesome. That's, that's what you call getting realistic. I love the handles too. So, this is the handle that comes off. And it actually has your tool inside uh, for piercing your CO2 bottle. So we just take that out and we undo this as far as we need to, slam in our bottle. Now, seal type. This is one of those soft, softer type green seals. So I would not recommend leaving CO2 in this gun. Also, be cautious on the bottles of CO2 you use with this kind of a seal because you're going to make an impression on this seal that's going to become permanent. So if you're going to run Crossman bottles, you stick with Crossman bottles because different brands have a little bit different type of neck heads on them. And uh, so you want to make sure that whatever one that's most common for you to get access to is the one that you use for, your, for this gun. I really like that. Oh, that's... Try this. Come here, honey. Try this. You might want one. That's really nice. Wow. That's got some weight. Oh, it's all metal. Yeah. Oh. And you 
and safety decock it too. Nice. You want one? <laughs> I'm getting a chrome single action army because I want to stay with chrome. So you're going to have to get black to my single action yeah. army. Wow. That is nice. Yeah. I... Warning, not a toy. No kidding. Oh. Some of these all look the same. Nice. Very nice. That is really awesome. I'm impressed. Baby. The build quality looks really good on it. That is really a nice heavy catch too. Solid. You know? Mm-hmm. That's cool. Quality. Warning, not a toy. Duh. Yeah, that's what I said. <laughs> Official license of Remington, model RR1875. And then there's a serial number. Um, this rod, that's what that button's for. You push this button in, you pull the rod, and you can actually pull this whole barrel piece out if you need to. So if you're going to do cleaning or whatever. So... That, uh, that looks like some nice piece of quality gun. Wow, can't wait to get shooting this sucker. That's going to be awesome. Anyways, guys, so that's my unboxing for you. Uh, I am so happy that the pistol fits in here good. So that's really good. I'm going to have to load up all the shells with some ammo when we get time to do that. For now, we can stick all the bullets in here. I um, wonder if we got enough slots for this. We'll do this and we'll get out of here. Won't take long, guys. Now, I ordered specific pellet shells. Uh, but like I said, they do say you can use pellets in the BB shells because they're exactly the same, I guess. So I don't know why they would say one's BB, one's pellet. But Anyhow, um, so my next venture is um, I want two more guns, at least. Um, definitely the single action army. Um, that is definitely going to be the next one I order shortly. And uh, I haven't quite decided on the last one. I wouldn't mind a blowback um, multi-shot pellet gun. Um, I'm just not sure what yet. But we'll have to uh, see what we can come up with anyways for an idea for that. Yeah, they look a little... Oh, the seal is a little different, but... Should be fine. At least we know which ones are which anyway. I might have to buy some more shells. I got some free slots. That's not a good thing. Can't have free slots. Yes, we can. Alright, so we've got two free slots. Which is alright. That's not bad. So if I had two extra shells, that'd be golden. So that gives us 18 here. Six in the gun. That's not bad. That's a good starting point anyways. Right on. That's cool. So I'm going to have to adjust this. Uh, Oop, yeah. yeah, I'm going to definitely have to adjust that hammer strap so that that can lock my gun in there for me. But anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. Hope you enjoyed the video. Definitely stay tuned for more. Um, won't be any more air gun unboxings at least for probably couple of weeks anyhow um, but nonetheless we'll probably have something to unbox or do some shooting soon with this thing I'm kind of anxious to get out and shoot but like I said it's windy today so hopefully by the weekend if the weather clears up um, we can do that in the meantime that's pretty sick I like that thanks for watching guys catch you on the next one